Hello, welcome to my channel, Out and About with Martin. Today we're at Holmend in Staffordshire, just over the border from Derbyshire, between Buxton and Ashbourne. Holmend is a start of the Manifold Way, which is an eight and a half mile cyclone walking track that goes down to Waterhouses. As we cycle down the Manifold Way, you will learn about its history from when it was a railway line. We will also discover why, from this desolate place in the middle of nowhere, they used to run a train direct into the centre of London. Sit back and enjoy. Here at Homend, the former station building has been restored as an interesting visitor centre and is well worth exploring. Open most weekends and during school holidays, it contains information displays about the railway and a collection of memorabilia from the line, plus a range of souvenirs, guidebooks and maps. There is a paint display car park here at Home End. There is also a small cafe, the Tea Junction, and you can park in their car park for free as long as you make a purchase in their cafe or souvenir shop. There are seats inside the cafe and also outside where you can enjoy a picnic on a nice sunny day. The Leaker Manifold Narrow Gauge Railway with its primrose yellow locomotives modelled on those in India ran on this route from 1904 to 1934. The name Manifold comes from the many folds of the river as it meanders down the valley. Soon after leaving Hulmehend, we have come to the site of the Ecton Creamery, which was responsible for most of the freight on the railway line. In the early 20th century, it was a hugely successful business, producing over 3 million litres of milk every year. Most of the milk from Ecton was destined for London, and the Ecton Creamery became so busy that in the early 1920s, there was a direct milk train between London and Waterhouses. Just south of Ecton Creamery, we join a single track B road for approximately one mile, so it's not entirely traffic free. Starting here at Swainsby Tunnel and going down past Wetton Mill. Wetton Mill was once a water mill used for grinding corn. It closed in 1857 but the remains of the mill stream and a grinding stone can still be seen today. It makes for a perfect halfway stopping point on the Manifold Way. 
There are refreshments and toilets available at the little cafe and beautiful riverside views for a picnic and a paddle. Just south of Wet and Mill, we come to the yawning mouth of Thor's Cave. This natural cavern is set in a steep limestone crag with its huge arch entrance easily visible from the manifold way. It is possible to follow public footpaths up to the mouth of the cave and explore inside, but do be careful of the very steep, high, unguarded drops within. Evidence has been found of human occupation of Thor's Cave during the Stone Age with use well into the Iron Age and Roman period. Past excavations have found stone tools, pottery, amber beads and bronze items in Thor's cave, as well as the burial sites of at least seven people. A little further along the route, another limestone rock face, Beeston Tour, offers dramatic scenery and is a popular destination for climbers. Excavations of caves here have also found a nearly thick and bronze remains. The river manifold disappears underground via swallets and sinkholes south of Wetton Mill to re-emerge in the ground of Illum Hall. Finally, the manifold way tracks through the Hamps Valley, following the course of the often dry River Hamps through beautiful peak landscape and woodlands before heading into the pretty village of Waterhouses. Cycle hire is available at both ends of the Manifold Way within the visitor centre at Home End and also at Brown End Farm in Waterhouses. If you wish to hire a cycle please check in advance particularly during the winter when they are quite often closed as they are today as we come up towards Christmas on this mucky foggy day I've added links to both cycle centres in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. This all helps my channel grow. You can see more walks, e-bike rides, events I've attended and places I've visited all on Out and About with Martin. So until next time, bye.